Morning, I'm Emma Berry. I'm the European editor of TDN. It's about 6.30 a.m. on uh, the first day of roughly six weeks of no racing in Britain, at least. Uh, it's a very similar situation in lots of countries around the world. If we start racing again on 1st of May, it will be the day before the first classic of the British season, the 2000 Guineas, followed the next day by the 1000 Guineas. That obviously is a big if at the moment. Uh, we hope that we'll get the show back on the road by then. Uh, in the meantime, we've lost all the classic trials and the start of the flat turf season, which would have been a uh, week on Saturday at Doncaster. Everyone is fully understanding of the situation. We all have to do what we can to ensure this virus doesn't spread any further than it has already. Um, but it, you know, this is racing is big business in this town. I'm here in the middle of Newmarket. We have 16 horses in this stable in training, but the town itself has around two and a half thousand of the 14,000 horses in training in Britain. So as you can imagine, it's a very busy training center. And behind the scenes, the show is very much going on. The horses still have to be exercised, fed, mucked out every day. The staff here in the town have all been brilliant, carrying on their jobs as best they can. Hopefully no one is sick yet. Um, those who are obviously would have to go home, stay at home. So far we've got a full team on duty here this morning. We're just about to pull out the first lot and I'm gonna head out onto the heath and uh, speak to some people out there from a safe distance and see hopefully life carrying on as normal in uh, Britain's busiest training centre. Day one of the coronavirus enforced shutdown and training the horses is no different because at the moment racing's penciled in to resume in May and um, six, six, six weeks time you know the horses need to be trained and be ready for then if it does resume is another matter. It's a bit surreal really because we've got all these horses at the beginning of the season ready to run and now we've got a marked time so it's you're just watching them count there it's just very frustrating. So it's a big change for us. Um, we'd normally have still have an all-weather team running and in fact to pull up stumps with them, but it's very much not a lot's gonna change in the yard. Um, we'll take precautions and measures and there'll be um, you know plenty of sanitizing material if you like. And I think it's gonna to be tough for someone like Charlie, who has the six to four favourites for the two thousand beginning not knowing whether it's going to be run on May or whatever. Or it could be run in August, it could be run well, it could be run as well. This horse here, Kryptos, was entered in the Lincoln at Doncaster Saturday week. He obviously won't be running, so... The horses who would have been running immediately their programme will be slightly different, because there's obviously no need for them to do really strenuous, really fast galloping for in the immediate future. But for the other ones that were just getting ready to resume at some point, basically no different. The horses will train as normal, um, they'll use the heat as normal, um, probably a little bit of exercise, but um, hopefully we can carry on, whether it be six weeks, two months, whenever, we're ready to start the flat season. Um, this is something we've got to deal with, and you know, there's a lot worse going on in the world, so this is our own little bubble, and like I said, we're not going to deal with it. These are very unusual circumstances and nobody really knows how it's going to, how it's going to evolve, unfortunately. And, but the fact that the Kentucky Derby is put back to September, and we're all trying to read between the lines and see the signs, that's not a very good sign because that completely disjoints their program. It's a massive, massive thing for the country and you know, at, at the moment, racing is not one of its principal victims. But I mean, the main thing is the country has got to pull together. The government wants to minimise the chance of coronavirus spreading. And I'm pleased that racing's doing its bit to do that, to make sure there aren't journeys of horses and staff and people around the country. Financially, it complicates matters a lot. But the number one thing is that the country pulls together and minimises the damage that coronavirus does. And, the government's trying to do that. Racing's got behind the government and we get behind the BHA to do that and 100%, 100% on board with that. Mm -hmm.